Yes, let's go right in. Oh, sweet. Jump, jump. The Mac data make you jump, jump. <laughs> Bloody hell. What's a big ass scorch like that doing in the middle of nowhere? Where did it go? You know what, guys? Oh, he didn't jump. Hey, hey, hey. You're supposed to do what I say. Dumb animal. Oh, come on. Jump. If I tell you to jump, you jump. Don't make me get the whip. I'm supposed to do horse cure exercises. Oh, well. The horse knows what I mean when I tell him to do stuff. He's a good dumb animal. Anyway, this game is a bit boring. So I'm definitely not going to spend much time on you know what guys this game is I guess you would get this game for kids who are interested in horses horse rearing ponies like Lisa Simpson um, but then again the game does say don't take tips from it in regards to taking care of horses but you know I guess with any game they have to say that just in case a kid decides to do stupidness so it's like they're uh, don't try this at home kids but you know kids are going to try it at home um, taking that into consideration, I think you could get some tips on how to take care of horses from him. I wouldn't say listen to it word for word, but, you know, you probably could get some tips. Um, I find this game a bit boring. The graphics are spectacular. Um, the sound, I guess it sounds like a ranch, I don't know. Why can't I make this horse jump anymore? I'm supposed to jump when I tell you to jump. No? Whoa. 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 Um, the graphics are extremely nice. The intro was really well done. And you know, and you can tell that wasn't CGI or anything like that. Uh, it looked like it was actually in-game graphics, which is pretty good. Um, oh, I jump for goodness sake. Um, it's that, uh, I guess it's a, uh, what would you call those things, a horse rearing simulation game. Um, it has a bit of adventure, you can tell it has a, a bit of adventure because there's, there's a story to it, um, an interactive story. This game is making me tired. I'm not enjoying it very much. And uh, I, I guess it might be my age, but <laughs> I'm really not enjoying this game very much. And so, with that, I think I will end this first look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, let's go to the water. Can I make this horse drink? You know what they say, you can bring a horse to, to water, but you can't make it drink. How do I get off? Can I get off? Get off. Get off. Get off. No, I can't get off. Okay. I personally, personally, and this is my opinion, I personally think this game is geared towards girls and the reason I'm saying that is because your character is a young girl who's crazy about horses now all games that are starring girls aren't actually geared towards girls for example Tomb Raider is definitely not geared towards girls I guess it gives uh, a nod to the feminist movement maybe 
because you know she has big breasts and whatnot, and I know that they're not really into that unless they're lesbians, I guess. But there you go. <laughs> um, but I, you can tell this game is geared towards towards girls like Lisa Simpson, for example, girls that love horses, ponies, maybe. Oh, who's this? Why is this person stretching? Hi, I'm Leia, the Prairie Trainer. My training program will cover the cross country and steeplechase. This. Ah, so it looks like you can actually put the horses in a race or one of those like other type of dealies with horses. I don't know. I don't know nothing about horses. Yeah, gallop. Ride like the wind, bullseye. Again, uh, I think I'm going to end this first review here. I'm just bored. This is, I mean, I didn't, I didn't have any real expectation coming into this game. It did look like a horse uh, rearing sim on the back of the case. And I was happy with that, you know, I, I didn't mind trying it out, now that I've tried it out, Whoa. I, I'm a bit bored, and I feel like I'm going to fall asleep. It doesn't interest me at all, it's not one of my type of games, um, but I'm sure there's some people out there that would like it, I'm sure that there's some kids or, or young girls that would like it. Maybe some profes professional horse trainers, horse rearers. People that deal with horses, maybe they would like this game, you know, as a break from the real thing. Um, maybe they want to check it out to see <laughs> what uh, other what what video game companies are trying to teach people about horse rearing. You know, maybe they would like to check it out. Maybe they might use it as a tool themselves to train to to get people interested, or to you know, for those people who seem to be interested to check it out first before they actually come and interact with, with the horses because you know when you're dealing with live animals it's a different thing to when you're dealing with uh, video game characters however they might be able to get a feel uh, for the amount of work and time that goes into taking care of a horse um, and a horse is a big animal it's quite dangerous as well so if you don't know what you're doing you could get hurt um, you know but anyway this is that's my first look uh, review of Pippa Funnel Funnel, however you pronounce the pronounce the name. Um, Ranch Rescue um, for the PlayStation 2, also known as Horses. What did it say? Um, other and somewhere else, I don't know where. Uh, game was uh, developed by Phoenix Interactive, published by Ubisoft. Released in 2007, and I tell you what, this game has some really nice graphics. The controls are nice, uh, and I'm not just saying that. The controls are nice; they're easy. Uh, too bad I can't look over the edge of that. That'll be a nice closing shot, wouldn't it? Um, the controls are nice. The graphics are really good. It's just not my thing. It's just not my thing. I tell you, anybody that's interested in animals would probably love this game. Well, interested in horses would love this game. Um, rated three and up. I don't remember how much I paid for this game, but you know, I'm sure that there's a market for it. I'm sure that there's a market for it. If you like horses. You like uh, horse training simulations, horse rearing simulations, and it seems like there's some uh, racing, probably not like derby racing, maybe, I'm not too sure, but like steeplechases and those type of things. I'm um, like the Ascot. Ascot? I don't know what I'm talking about. But you know, those posh type, upscale type horse championship things. Uh, it seems like this game has some of that in it. Um, there you go.
So my first look review, Pippa Funnel, Wrench Rescue for the PlayStation 2. See you guys later.